Dr. Eric here to discuss the female G-spot, where it is, what it is, and whether it actually exists. Let's start with a quick history lesson. The G-spot is named after a gynecologist, Dr. Graffenberg, who was a practicing physician in the early to mid-1900s. The G-spot is supposed to be this magical area on the inside of the vagina, which when stimulated creates strong sexual arousal and intense orgasms, and even thought to lead to female ejaculation. This incredible spot is typically described as approximately two to three inches inside the vagina on the anterior wall, meaning toward the front of the woman's body. You can think of it as a place that you would be able to feel if you inserted a finger into the vagina and made a come here motion. Unfortunately, there is very little data to support its existence. The largest study evaluated 1,800 people, all sets of twins. The assumption was that because twins are identical genetically, they would either both have or lack a G-spot. However, this is not what the researchers found. Instead, they found that oftentimes one woman would describe having a G-spot and the other would not. Now, this does not mean that women who experience pleasurable sexual arousal from G-spot manipulation are lying. Rather, there are different thoughts about why this area may be arousable in some women. The primary ideas are that either a gland in the area called the Skene's gland or tissue from the clitoris actually extends up that front portion of the vagina to provide that sensation. Both of these possibilities could produce sexual arousal in women. The problem though with the G-spot myth really is that it makes some women feel inadequate when they don't experience the sexual pleasure that they think they're supposed to. There is absolutely nothing dysfunctional about a woman who does not experience G-spot arousal. The important thing to understand is that all women experience sexual arousal differently, and these are all different variations of normal. Women are different and will experience sexual pleasure and gratification differently. There is no single right way to have sex. The take home lesson here for women is to listen to your body. You should do what feels good to you and don't get caught up in the hype. If you've found this video helpful and wanna make sure you don't miss any of my other videos on sexual education, please click the subscribe button below. And as always, if there are any interesting topics you'd like me to cover, drop a comment.